Good morning everyone. This is my first vlog on my new camera and I'm super excited. Um, I look a hot mess right now because I just woke up. But today I have a modeling casting which will only take like a minute, <laughs> literally. But I'm super excited. I just did my makeup, very natural, glowy. And now I just need to fix up my hair. I'm either gonna wear black leggings and a black tank top or black skinny jeans. Okay. Okay, you guys definitely can't see my full outfit, but I just have this black Skims tank top on, black Lululemon leggings, and then just some Air Forces. It's 11 o'clock now. The casting is at 12.05, and I want to say it's like a 45-minute drive, but I'm going to leave in like five minutes to make sure I'm early in case I need to find parking or whatever and honestly I'm just praying that I don't need to parallel park because that's one thing that I really can't do okay I'm leaving now my ETA is 11 55 so 10 minutes early hopefully that's perfect and yeah the weather is beautiful outside also I'm like really excited and a little nervous but here we go I'm in North Philly by myself I hate that lake Oh, uh, I just like to like keep my head down. I'm scared that the parking is gonna be an issue because not only like can I not parallel park, but like even the chances of me finding a spot to parallel park in is gonna be an issue. Oh, I found a parking spot literally as I was like pulling up here, somebody was leaving and I just took their parking spot. It's parallel though, so I'm in a rough, oh my gosh, it's so bad. I'm embarrassed to get out of my car, but it is what it is. Since castings are so fast, I didn't even bring my camera in. It was literally two minutes. My heart's racing a little bit because the area I'm in does make me nervous. I can't even lie, but I think it went well. I didn't even know that they take pictures of you. Turn left on Diamond Street. So I wasn't really prepared for that. I feel like it went well, hopefully. It was fun and I'd hope I get it because that's one that's like super exciting. It would be super fun. My agent didn't tell me that I should have had like my measurements, like specific measurements on my comp card. So I wasn't prepared and like I couldn't even tell them my measurements because I didn't know. So hopefully that doesn't negatively affect me. But like that's the frustrating thing for me is like there's a bit of a disconnect between me and my agent and like she should have told me that like what the heck it has been a minute since i touched base with you guys last day i have been just doing schoolwork for the longest time i didn't get much done i was really watching breaking bad it's my first time like watching the whole thing all the way through and i'm obsessed i'm in season three right now i figured out my birthday plans which is super exciting and now i'm like in a good mood because I was a little bit bummed out and sad earlier thinking like, oh, I'm gonna have a sad birthday. No, no shot. Also, my Zoom class tomorrow got canceled so I only have one class tomorrow and my internship weekly meeting. I'm there for an hour and a half and then I get to go home and when I get home, I'm going to clean my room, do way more schoolwork than I got done <laughs> so far. Um, some internship work and watch Breaking Bad. In case anybody's curious what my plans are for my birthday, I'll tell you all about it. So for my birthday tomorrow, I'm gonna get as much schoolwork done as possible tonight so that I can really just enjoy my birthday tomorrow and not be worried about doing schoolwork all day. My mom also has the day off, so I'll be hanging with her all day. So I have my birthday off until three o'clock and then I have an internship meeting and then I have another little break, I guess, before class. And then I have class. Then me and one of my best friends from the wings are gonna hang out. We're gonna go to a restaurant. I don't know what her little surprise is. She says she has something up her sleeve at this specific restaurant. I'm like, what in the world? Like, I'm so scared, actually but also excited. I have no idea what to expect. So anyway, we're going to this restaurant um, kind of in like Northern Liberties. I mean, the crazy thing is tonight at midnight I can drink, so I might hit somebody up <laughs> and see if anybody would be down to do that. That's like irresponsible of me, but 
you're only young once, so let me like have a good time and enjoy myself, you know? I'm playing catch up here a little bit. It's my birthday. I didn't go out last night. I had considered going out last night for like a midnight drink, but then I had changed my mind that I didn't really want to go, which worked out because literally no one could go. <laughs> so anyway, my hair is a little crazy. I just styled it, but this piece is being weird. Anyway, it always feels good to do your hair and makeup on your birthday, just to feel a little extra gorgeous and then I don't really know what my outfit's gonna be today so for right now I just have this little top on and then these like black trouser pants from White Fox they're just kind of baggy and comfy I have a lot of schoolwork and like internship stuff to do today so that's no fun but I think I'm gonna go to lunch with my mom and maybe my grandma and get a margarita to start my celebration and then I do have an internship meeting later, class later, and then I'm going out tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit all over the place, I'm out of breath. I brought my whole laptop just now. It's okay. So, it's three o'clock, I have my internship meeting right now, I need to log on. I'm running a little bit late. I just went to lunch with my mom. Our lunch was delicious. We went to this little Mexican restaurant near me that gives you free margaritas. <laughs> Didn't get carded and the margarita was delicious. The tequila was like really good tequila. My boss just texted me he's running a little bit late so perfect. Um, but my mom gave me some presents from her and my dad. So I'll give you guys a haul of all the gifts. I love them all and I'm so grateful. My grandma stopped by to give me a gift, which made me so happy. I'm happy I got to see her. I love her so much. I'm so close with her. And then she gave me my gift and I love it all. So I'll show you guys that. And I'm so appreciative for her giving me that. So after my meeting, I'll give you guys a little haul. Or maybe now, I might have time. We'll see time for the haul so first i'm going to show the alcoholic beverages actually they're not alcoholic my mom just got me margarita mix so i still need to get tequila for them but mango margarita from jose cuervo and pineapple i've never tried either of these but they both sound delicious so i'm going to make some frozen margaritas with those and then just while we're at it i'll give you guys a haul of the other alcohol I've gotten. My friend Maddie got me Jose Cuervo margarita mix and a Jose Cuervo tequila. So this anyway, this should be enough for many margaritas. I also have this beautiful bottle of rose. So I'm excited to pop this open and celebrate at some point <laughs> okay so my mom got me this jbl bluetooth speaker that i asked for and she got me the blue like turquoise one and it's so pretty like i love this color i just had my meeting it went super well it was an hour long productive and everything and my sister just texted me she's gonna come over so that's nice hopefully there's enough time to like really get to hang out with her before i have to go to school but I'm going to give you guys the full haul of birthday presents thus far because my mom already told me that there's more on the way and I haven't gotten all my presents from everyone who said they were giving me presents. And again, I'm so grateful for everything I get. Like, I'm not expecting gifts from anybody, but I just have the most amazing people in my life. One of my favorite gifts, this is from my mom. I didn't ask for this. That's probably why it's my favorite. This gorgeous tumbler it's like a stanley but it's like way prettier and i feel like this probably won't leak as much so i'm really excited and i love this so much she was like there's a pink version that's also gorgeous she was like i was gonna get that one for you and engrave your name in it but it was gonna take way longer i was like actually as much as i love that one i really really love this one then I asked for a few books and I'm super excited. Um, apparently I got three, but the two that already came are this one, The Mountain Is You by Brianna Weist. 
and it's just a you know self-improvement book and then also make your bed by Admiral William H McRaven who is a US Navy veteran and I just love reading nonfiction books about how to improve. This is what me and my dad bond over, so I'm actually so excited and grateful that he got me these because after I read them, he can read them and then we can talk all about them. One of my favorite gifts that I'm so excited for are these aloe sweatpants. They're just the gray straight leg. I think they're gonna be so cute and they're also so soft and I'm so excited. I love these so much. I keep getting ads for this brand Astoria on Instagram and it's like athletic wear and it's so cute. My mom got it for me. It's like pink with cherries and here are the shorts and then honestly like my favorite part that I thought was the cutest thing in the whole world is this long sleeve white top with like a crisscross in the middle. I'll have to do a try on maybe at some point. And then a black Lululemon cross body bag because I have the Sherpa one and I just wanted like a plain black one to go with everything. And then also from Aloe, this super pretty gray tank top and the back is so cute. There's like an extra string there. I just feel like this is super cute. Aloe stuff is so nice. I've never ordered from them before so I'm super excited. This is like the main gift and my favorite, the most exciting one I think would be this Bayes Weekender bag. The color is so gorgeous. I wish you guys could see how pretty this color is in person. It's like a mauve toned pink but it's much more pink like in person. And I've wanted this for so long. Every time I get their ads, I'm like, you're killing me. Like, I need it all, and it's so expensive. So I love this so much. And my mom was like, yeah, it's so pretty. She loves it. My mom loves it. So, like, just what I showed them. Um, they don't have any or anything, but they were like, yeah, we'll definitely have to, like, upgrade you to, like, getting the, like, suitcases and stuff. And I was like, oh, like, yes please there's a few just like random things i'll just show you a couple one is a camera case because my boyfriend got me this amazing camera that i'm filming on right now for my birthday and then a few like fake nails just from <laughs> timu i'm in such a good mood i'm so excited and so happy yeah. i'm in the process of picking out my outfit for going out tonight but i also have to wear it to class so here's the top that i feel like i want to wear because it cute comfy and it kind of looks like a birthday top to me um right now i just have jeans on but i don't know how i feel about these jeans i mean they're cute i just i mean like with the top i feel like these jeans make me look big i don't know maybe that's just me but i don't know i'll update you guys when i figure out what the final fit is. I also really have schoolwork to do, so I need to get on that. And I forgot to mention two of the birthday presents I got, which are from my mom, -mom and it's four Apple Air Tags and little keychain holders for them. So that's super exciting. Okay, my sister is here, and I'm having so much fun playing with my nephew. I have a ton of schoolwork to do that I haven't gotten done because I've just been spending time with them. So hopefully I can get it done during my class. But I do need to figure out a definite outfit now literally right now so do I want to change my jeans or not I love the top I'm very happy with the top it's the pants I'm just not feeling and I kind of want to touch up my hair okay so, final fit is this little top and these black cargos. Guys, I just got home. <laughs> it's 1230 and I'm wasted. And I have a lot of updates because I didn't want to bring my camera because I didn't trust myself and thank God. Um, oh, do I look drunk? So, basically, <laughs> what happened was... I, oh my god, are my eyes red? <laughs> Happy 21st birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, let me show you. I left 
for my birthday sash downstairs, but my friends got me some cupcake rosé. Period. The face I just made was so ugly. Please just, just delete that from your memory. But I got a bottle of cupcake and I love I mean, I've never tried this, but I love it. I have tried it. So basically, I don't remember when I last talked to you guys, but I went to class and it was so boring and it's also so cold and I didn't have a jacket and I'm just in this itty bitty little top. Anyway, oh, I really have to pee, so I'm going to make this fast. I went to class. I finished up at 8. I called up my friend Nija, who was the only one I had plans with. We were going to dinner together, El Camino, in Northern Liberties. And I'm like, hey, um, are you ready to meet up? And she was like, oh, no, I'm not going to be there for another 45 minutes. I was like, all good. So finally we meet up. And when we get there, we're in the ghetto. We're literally in North Philly. And I'm like so scared for my life. Oh, my gosh, I'm actually going to pee myself. Hold on. Anyway, so she takes me to North Philly, like near Temple. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm actually scared for my life. She's like, yeah, this is not the best area. I'm like, why did you bring me here? And she had told me there was some surprise and I literally am so naive. I'm like, what? I have no idea. We're walking up and I'm like, is that my friend? So two of the girls from our dance team were there to surprise me and it was like such a good surprise. And we ended up having so much fun. As soon as we got there, they had already ordered us food and everything. The food was so good. Shout out to El Camino in Philly. Delicious. I got the shrimp tacos and I literally, oh my gosh. So good. So good. Um, the waiter was also so nice. So when I got there, they were like, hey girls, like, want any drinks? And I was like... Yeah, and they were like, oh, it's her birthday. And they had a birthday sash for me that, like, lit up. And they gave me the bottle. And I was like, oh, my gosh, so much fun. And they were like, oh, actually, we do birthday shots. And I was like, what? They were like, you like tequila? I was like, yep. <laughs> so they bring me a shot of tequila. No, they didn't. They brought me a double shot of tequila with candles in it. So they, like, did a little birthday thing. And I blew out the candles. And then I took the double shot. And I honestly, literally, it hit me instantly. I was... I was like, guys, I'm drunk. And I had already order, ordered a margarita. So then I had a mango margarita. And it was so delicious. But, like, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm not going to make it home safely. So I actually ended up calling up my mom. And I was like, hey, now she's going to bring me to this point. Are you able to pick me up from that point? Because I can't drive. And my mom's an angel. And she was like, of course, for your birthday. Like, I mean, any time, honestly. But especially for your birthday. So she picked me up. And now I'm home. And I'm still drunk. But having a good old time. <laughs> so now I'm going to do my skincare. I'm going to shower in the morning. But I'm going to do my skincare now and go to bed. Maybe eat a little bit of. What? Maybe watch a little bit of Breaking Bad. <laughs> I really need to go to bed. Happy 21st birthday. Actually it's not my birthday anymore because it's midnight. But I had the best day ever. And I have the best friends and family ever. So I really did have a good day.